inserting, deleting and renaming worksheets. Here we have a brand new blank workbook. At the bottom of this workbook we can see the three sheets that are part of this workbook. If you double click on a sheet name, you'll automatically be able to rename that sheet. It highlights the current name and allows you to type in a, t a name over that sheet name. So when I press enter it accepts this as its new name. Let's try that again for sheet 2. So I select the sheet and then do a double click on the sheet name. I type the name that I want instead and then I press enter for to accept the new name. I can also delete a sheet. I select the sheet and then I go to the home tab. Within the home tab there's a grouping called cells and in here there's an option to delete. Clicking on the drop down arrow I can see I can delete cells, rows, columns or the entire sheet. So if I click delete sheet the sheet disappears from the bottom of my screen. Down here on the bottom of my screen I also have a little icon that looks like a blank worksheet with a little star on the top left hand corner. Clicking on this automatically puts a brand new sheet at the end of the, the sheets that exist already. Once the new sheet has been added we can then double click and rename the sheet. So clicking once on this icon will insert a new sheet at the end of the list that's there already. When we right mouse click on a sheet name we also have these three options to insert, delete or rename the sheet that we're on. Also in here we have an added option of move or copy. Let's say I'm on sheet 5. Currently sheet 5 is after March. If I right click and go to move or copy for sheet 5, I can move it so that it's before a particular sheet. So sheet 5 I, mi I, wi I might want to move to before sheet called Jan. So when I press OK, sheet 5 moves in front of Jan. Clicking and dragging a sheet will also allow you to move a sheet around a workbook. I can also copy a sheet if I select sheet 5 and go to move or copy. If I click create a copy, it creates a copy of the sheet that I'm currently on, which is sheet 5. When I press OK, it automatically puts it in front of the January sheet because that's what I had chosen in that move and copy window. So here I can see sheet 5 but with the number 2 following it meaning it's a copy of sheet 5. Have a look at inserting, deleting and renaming sheets before moving on.